Good morning guys, it is now Sunday and uh, I'm gonna hit you guys up with a brand new episode of our Man of the Match Neymar series. In the last episode, I asked you guys if you want to see more of this and uh, yeah, the comments were amazing. You really want me to continue this and uh, try to get the Man of the Match Neymar and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing. So expect a full episode right now uh, of loads of SPCs and uh, we're gonna be trying out some of the brand new ones as well. Anyway, let's go for 5,000 likes on this video. That would be crazy. It is Sunday right now, school tomorrow, which uh, you know freaking sucks, but uh, let's freaking go and smash the like button. And if you guys, you know, let's say hit 3,000 likes in like two hours, I'll do a stream, a very early stream today, maybe at like 3 p.m. or something. Um, so yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see that as well. But anyway, as I said, I promise you guys loads of SPCs in this video, and I'm also going to be selling my investments I did for the Team of the Week SPC because I figured that we're going to be done with this series way before those actually come out. Those are going to be out around the 23rd, I think, of, uh, of March, which is like a week until. So yeah, we're going to be done before that which means um yeah i can just sell them on and some of you guys even told me to uh, sell them on so that is what we're going to be doing later on on the main account in this episode but anyway we're going to be starting off on a brand new account here by doing the playing your bullet spc and uh, yeah we're just going to be transferring the coins as you guys can see right here i uh, transfer the coins with two kits right there and also one special card which i pick up when i get 10,000 coins from selling those uh, two kits so uh, let's have a look at the first pack we're going to be getting four faster which is uh, not the best and um, you know my pack recently haven't been too good I have I, like I'm not too sure what's happened but uh, the pack look last week was just incredible but like the past couple days haven't really been too good for me I haven't been getting too many informs I haven't been getting a Volk out in like you know uh, four or five episodes which is crazy so uh, hopefully we can get that maybe in this episode we'll have to wait and see anyway this pack here gives us some very nice consumables and also 4,000 coins and uh, which is already gonna take us up to 18,000 which means we only need about 30k more to actually make profit on this whole account already and as you guys can see, the next pack is going to give us good one, and that is not it, guys. We're also going to be getting Ericsson in the same pack and Lichsteiner, which also goes for like 6k right now. So a very nice pack right there. That is around, you know, that is around 40,000 coins just from that pack. So a very nice one right there. Maybe my pack luck is back. I'm not too sure, but um, we also get a couple of nice consumables and also 1,000 coins. So a very nice uh, pack right there to uh, to start things off. We're also going to have a look at the 45k one though. And then we're back to the bad pack. Like we're going to be getting Gignac, which is not good in the 45k pack. Uh, we're just going to be sending everything to the club. Maybe this 50k pack. We haven't had a good 50k pack in ages in this one. We're going to be getting Götze, which is still is a very bad 50k pack. He doesn't really sell on. And uh, yeah, the rest is also pretty useless. So not a very good 50k pack right there. But of course, we're going to be having loads of more chances in this episode. And of course, the next one is going to be the legendary SPC. And uh, hopefully we can get something cool out of this one. Let's have a look at the squad, and uh, as you guys can see, that Lemos guy right there, um, like two days ago, he was going for 10,000 coins, he was price fixed, now it's gone down again to like 900, uh, where he usually is, but yeah, just be aware of that, guys, you know, when you do this SPC, there's always going to be cards that's going to be price fixed, and you're going to be seeing that later on in this video, that I do need to pick up some cards for way more than I should have, but uh, yeah, you know, so sometimes that happens, and just be aware of that, guys, that players that I use as well can sometimes be price fixed, but anyway, the 50k back is going to be giving us Rami, which is, you know, not good at all. None of these cars are going to be selling for more than like 1.5k at max. So it's been a while since we've had a really good 50k back and, you know, just a really good card in general. Uh, apart from, you know, the first back that we got today. It's been, you know, a while since we've gotten a card over 50k and just a really cool one. It's actually like the last one was in episode 2 of the SPCs for You series where we got the in from Guai in the uh, in the two players pack, which was insane. He sold down for 150k. So it's been a while since we've had a really nice card, but uh, maybe we can get that in this episode of course we're going to be doing loads of spcs and this is the sixest one and uh, yeah as you guys can see very cheap indeed uh, one of the cheapest ways to do it just to uh, make a bpl squad with six rare cards and you pretty much are sorted right there and uh, i'm always showing guys you know the cheapest options to uh, to do this spcs for example this is uh, crazy eight literally these cards cost me 200 coins i uh, maybe even use some of the cards that i had in my club from before but uh, yeah very cheap one you can honestly get those bronze cards for 200 and the silver cards for 300 and of course the last one is going to be the 10 nation cyber which is very easy as well um you know just pick up the normal cards for 400 coins just find a nice league i think i used the bundesliga in that one but you can use the f1 championship you can use so many ones so uh, not too bad a very easy one to do we're going to be getting 5k and a premium gold pairs pack so let's hope that we can get something nice from this spc and of course i got myself that 13 from lukaku which hold down for closer to 700k uh, in one of these uh, nice packs so hopefully we can do this time we're going to be getting a blind here to start off with uh, which isn't good very bad pack indeed and uh, yeah, we're just going to be sending everything to the club because we get 
loads of items from these packs right here. So it's gonna take quite a while to sell on, but as I said, there's gonna be loads of SPCs in this video. We get ourselves the Volca next though, uh, which isn't too bad considering it's only a two players pack. So he's gonna sell on for at least like 1.5k. Let's have a look at the next one, and we're gonna be getting a Sangna, which is an 82 rated card. So once again, he actually might sell on for something. Not the best though, but still, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, we obviously already got a pretty nice card in this account. Uh, you know, actually, two pretty nice cards. But it's been a while since we've had one insane card, for example, a card over 50k, just one player. And uh, the last time we had that was in episode 2 of our SPCs for You series. So, uh, you know, my pack look has indeed dropped a bit, but maybe we can get it back soon. And uh, you cannot get, you know, good packs all the time. That is just how it is, pretty much. But uh, some people have also been tweeting me on Twitter saying that uh, have pack luck or something been lowered on these SPCs. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comment section right now. Are you getting verse SPC rewards than you did before? Or is it just the same? I'm not too sure, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to read it through those comments. Of course, I read every single comment and, you know, all the great support just makes me so much motivated to record the next episode. I promise you, I spent the whole of Saturday pretty much just recording this episode, getting the cards to sell on because that is what takes long to sell on the cards. You know, maybe doing a full SPC of four different teams. That could maybe take around 30 minutes to do um, to pick up all the players and stuff. And sometimes you need loyalty as well, which means that it's going to take you even longer, like 10 more minutes. So I spent a very long time making this episode. And uh, as long as I get, you know, very nice comments and great feedback from you guys. As I said before in this series, like in SPC to Ronaldo, when we did that, I do not want to go ahead and drag out this series until it gets boring. Hopefully it's still a bit entertaining. Uh, just let me know in the comment section when it gets a bit too much or something. Um, because I need to know that, um, as I said before, I do not really want to drag out this series to make it boring. That is the last thing I want to do, but uh, you guys are enjoying it so much right now. So I have indeed recorded a few more episodes than I was expected to do when I started Season 1, uh, which was, I think, yeah, SPCs to a million. Um, so it's just turned into such a big series, and I, I love that you guys are liking it. So I'm just going to keep doing it as you guys were, as long as you guys want to see it pretty much. As I said, let me know in the comment section down below. I read through everything. Anyway, it's time to do the next one here. We're going to be going into the packs, and hopefully we can get something nice this time. Last time we didn't really get anything special, and the first one is going to be... Be full of consumables and a few players, but uh, yeah, not the best. A couple of nice position changes there. CAM to center forward actually sells on for like 3,000 coins, so not too bad. I will take that. Next pack is gonna give us a blend again. That is the second time that we have had him right now, and I will need the same type of pack as well. So that is a bit weird, but anyway, um, those uh, yeah, the uh, the cards there, the card there from the USA is actually gonna sell on because it is SPCs right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, did we get another one? Just speaking of it, um, the cards from USA right now, Canada, and a couple other nations uh, actually doing this sell on for quite a bit right now because of SPCs. And I'm going to be trying out the new SPCs at the end of the episode. Um, you know, just uh, maybe, uh, maybe they're gonna be worth it or something. Some people have gotten some insane rewards I've seen on Twitter from the new ones. Um, Especially like the South uh, South American one uh, which you can get like 50k packs and 45k packs and stuff So that's gonna be interesting to see if we can get something at the end of the video So just stay tuned for that anyway next pack here we get 82 ta and a couple others You know a couple decent 82 rated cards, but uh, once again nothing too special anyway When every single card has sold on in the club we had like 70 80 cards to sell on Look at that guys, I've never seen that before, we end up with exactly 100,000 coins, that is not edited guys, that is exactly, like what is the chance of that, when everything got sold on, we ended up on exactly 100k, so I just thought, you know, it's time to end off on this account, it's just time to go ahead and, uh, you know, transfer the coins to the main account, because that is just such a cool way to end it off, and I could have done a few more SPCs, but, uh, you know, there is a nice amount there, obviously we're gonna be able to make around 50k uh, profit after tax as well, and and, uh, you know, obviously we sent over like 60k, so we need to think about that. But around 50k profit is not too bad from this one, considering we didn't really get too many nice packs in this account. So hopefully we can get something better in the next one. Anyway, I just had to go ahead and sell on quite a few uh, consumables right here, because as you can see, I need like 200 coins more uh, in order to uh, pretty much pick up the next card, uh, which was the one I was going to be transferring for 60,500 coins. And I finally get that right there, which isn't too bad. Um, so we're going to uh, just pick up this uh, Ruben Falkienz. We're also going to be listing this guy up for around 10,000 coins. So we're going to be able to sell on one more card for 10k and transfer that over to the main account, which is too bad. So right now we're just going to move over to the main account just to go ahead and list up that silver card and obviously get a couple more extra coins. Um, 
every single coin uh, does indeed count towards uh, Neymar because he is expensive right now. Obviously, last night he was going for around 3 million coins because, uh, you know, that is when he pretty much came out. But uh, today, I've seen him gone down to like 2.3 million. Right now, I'm actually going to check. I'm on my PlayStation. Uh, I'm actually recording this at 5 a.m. in the morning. That is seriously how long it takes to do these episodes and render and sell on the cards and stuff. But right now, he is 2.5 million coins. Of course, it's going to keep on dropping a bit more. So, uh, I think we're going to be there within a few episodes and also I had to go ahead and start selling a few of my investments you guys told me in the last episode you should just sell a few of your inform cards because you're gonna be done with this series way before those come, uh, come out and that is indeed true you know those cards are gonna be out I think the 23rd of March uh, which is uh, the day EA celebrate their 8th birthday uh, birthday which means we're gonna be getting loads of packs and uh, you know some pretty cool new cards and of course the team of Tobik SPC as well so uh, what I did is I pretty much just went ahead and sold on all the cards and I'm not gonna lie I did indeed lose a few thousand coins not too much though I pretty much just sold the cards for the amount that I picked them up for you can do the tax and stuff if you want I'm not too sure how much I lost on tax I would say maybe in total maybe in every single card it, it's, it's like 50 cards so maybe like 10 to 20 thousand coins I lost but uh, you know still not too bad it's going to be way quicker than to get to that Neymar and you guys are gonna be seeing a very nice amount that we end up at the end of the episode and um I'm thinking that we're gonna be getting to this Neymar depending on the pack luck though But if he you know keeps uh, getting a bit better I think we're gonna be on Neymar within like six or seven episodes So it shouldn't be too difficult and hopefully Neymar keeps on dropping as well But I have a feeling it's actually gonna stay around like 2.5 to 3 million because the card is so sick 95 rated and of course Neymar is one of the best cards of course in the game Anyway, as you guys can see right now, I'm doing the playing abroad on the brand new account. It's time to move over to another one because, of course, we deleted the last one. So, uh, yeah, we pretty much uh, do the same uh, type of squads. Of course, Tim Cruel has now also gone down from, like, 10,000 coins. He was also price fixed. He's now going for 400. So, I'm uh, very happy about that uh, because now I can do that SPC with that squad for the Spain one. And that has obviously always been the best one to do. And it's, like, the fastest one, the quickest one. And, uh, yeah, of course, as well, the cheapest one as well to do. So, I'm very happy happy that I can actually do right now anyway we get ourselves a card from Canada which actually is gonna be selling for like 2,000 coins and a Mexican card as well which also gonna, is, is gonna be selling because of the SPCs so I'm not gonna complain about the first one right there anyway let's hope that the rear goal back can give us something good and it's gonna be a bad flare as usual and um we get Sako, which isn't uh, which isn't great, 82 rated, uh, and of course he plays for Crystal Palace now. So his value has gone down a little bit, but he's still gonna sell him for like 1.5k. Mega pack, please give me something good. Let's have a look and see. It's gonna be a bad flare, and uh, we're gonna end up getting Coleman, 82 rated. Not a very good pack right there, you know. Sometimes these are very nice. Hopefully we can get a couple consumables, and yes, we do. We get like three fitness cards and a couple of uh, very nice, um, you know, position change as well. So uh, not a too bad of a mega pack. Anyway. Let's hope that our 45k pack can give us something. It's time to get a good card. And uh, yeah, we get Amrabat, which is, uh, you know, not a, maybe a good card. He could, of course, be a nice card to use in game and stuff. But uh, value, he uh, is pretty much worth nothing. So uh, yeah, come on. This 50k pack needs to give us something. We're going to be getting a left back. And it's going to be Aspen Equator, uh, which is once again for a 50k pack. Not very great, and uh, yeah, I'm just really disappointed about that pack right there. I was expecting something a bit better. Anyway, it's time to head over to the store or over to our transfers right now. Just move those cards right there, and uh, of course, we're gonna be doing the le legendary SBC after we list up those cards that we just got in the playing in world pack. So, once again, I go with the usual lineup, I believe. I think I did that anyway, and um. Yeah, we have Hesse Rodriguez right there, we have that uh, Quaresma. Oh my god, I just noticed actually, I submitted my 84 as well equate that. I was not meant to do that, I was meant to have a different car right there. I just noticed that I actually submitted my 84 as well equate Let me just have a look at my PlayStation to see how much we get Felipe Luis though, which is not too bad. Obviously, it's not too great either though, 15k and it's like the only decent pack we've had in ages but uh, let me see how much Aspen Equator actually is right now he is going for around 4,000 coins so I lost out like 3k in there pretty much which is just stupid of me but of course I'm recording these episodes really late it is actually 5 a.m. in the morning right now so uh, yeah it, it's really late indeed but that is what you gotta do I'm a youtuber so uh, it, it's a part of the game really but anyway we're gonna move over to the brand new SPC right now and we're gonna be doing the cheapest one first which I believe is the North American one and um, that is the Canada one right there we got those uh, Canadian cards 
cards for like yeah, 500 coins each. So not too bad, of course, all these bronze cards you guys are seeing, I literally picked them all up for 200 coins. I was not gonna pay more than 200 coins for these because I'm gonna, I was of course gonna try to do the cheapest way possible. So, uh, so far we have only spent like 4,000 coins and uh, yeah, the United States uh, one here as well is a bit more expensive because you need a bit higher rating. And of course the cards from the US as well are going for a bit right now, so uh, that one there probably cost me around 3,000 coins. Anyway, Central America, very cheap one. I got uh, the Costa Rican card right there for like 700 and a card from Honduras I got for like 200 coins on a snipe so not too bad very cheap one there as well for me once again so uh, yeah that is the North American tour completed of course we get a very nice kit and also a decent pack so Hopefully we can get something in this SPC and it's only gonna cost you maybe 10,000 coins So I would say that this one is gonna be worth it anyway Even if you get bad packs, I think you're gonna be you know able to make some very nice profit from it And uh, you know obviously when you're selling all the cards you might be able to make something But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see as you guys can see right now though As I said, I'm selling on a few of the investments that I had because I uh, yeah I'm just gonna get to Neymar way faster So when I get to that Neymar if I want I can sell on the Neymar again and then invest in the cards I'm not too sure though, we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens, but uh, yeah, I'm in the process right now selling those cards, and uh, as you guys can see, we're sitting on 700k, which isn't too bad, and of course, we're gonna be opening these cards, and we get a card, I believe, from the Pro League, so he might go for something, there is a very nice Pro League SPC out, uh, where you can get 100k back, so um, he could go for something, I'm not too sure that we're gonna be listing up all the cards eventually, we get the Shaka in the next one, 84 rating, so not a bad rating in an all players pack, which is, you know, not really a good one, so, uh, yeah, a very nice one to be honest. Next pack, we get uh, Huaru, uh, 76 rated, and uh, that was actually in a pretty decent pack as well. We get 1,000 coins though, uh, which I'm never gonna complain about. Just send everything there to my club, and of course, we're gonna be trying to uh, sell on everything that we get from these packs. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the last one. We get Palacio, 79 rated, and that is gonna be the end of the North American one. So, hopefully, the uh, South American ones can be a bit better. But at the same time, these are worth it anyway. Honestly, it only costs you just a few thousand coins um, for this SPC. So I'd recommend to uh, try it out because you never know. You might also get something crazy from those rewards. You never know what's going to happen in SPCs. So I uh, make sure you guys go and check it out. But anyway, we are going to be moving over to another one right now. We're going to be doing, I believe, the Hybrid Leagues. And, um... Actually, maybe the hybrid nations. I'm not too sure but the first one is gonna be the quad of course once again very cheap I'm pretty much just doing the same squads apart from this one uh, as I've done on the other accounts This one right here is a bit uh, I, I wouldn't say expensive, you know Bundesliga is indeed pretty cheap so you can get those cards there all in all for around 6.5 to 7,000 coins uh, all together and of course the last one crazy ace I used a couple cards that I had in my club from this and uh, yeah, I also had you know um, Just uh, I, I was just gonna spend a few coins on it as well. I had loads of cards now that I've sold on so I had quite a few cards there but uh, anyway we're gonna be uh, going ahead and uh, yeah submitting our next one which is a 10 nation hybrid which isn't too bad that was loads of cards from the FL championship and uh, they are going for very cheap just make sure to pick up quite a few Newcastle cards those are the ones to go for because they have so many different nationalities anyway it's time to move over to these packs right now and uh, actually before we do that we're just gonna have a look at the transfer list see what's sold on and Felipe Luby sold on for 13,250 so not a bad amount there. I'm actually gonna take that 15,000 coins for one player that is uh, not too bad I'm not gonna um, you know I'm not gonna complain about that but of course it's still not a card worth like more than 50,000 coins it's not a game from card or something exciting like that so I really hope that my, my pack like, can turn around again soon and maybe get better because yeah a few episodes ago and uh, like in uh, the SPCs to Ronaldo we had insane pack look but you never know stay tuned for tomorrow's episode and there might be some crazy things in coming just freaking stay tuned for the next episode as well guys but anyway Let's have a look at this pack and it's gonna give me a nice flare 84 rated though And I think I also saw another big flare in that pack. So yeah, two 84 rated cards, which is a very nice we're gonna be sending those to the transfer list and of course listing them up as soon as possible Next pack is gonna give us I believe yeah Quagri Quagliarella which is uh, not too great in Young as well, but of course, lots of players uh, from uh, these packs that we're going to be selling on. It takes a long time to sell on the players though, which isn't too fun, but uh, yeah, it's going to be profit eventually. I'm not just going to discard the cards because uh, that is, you know, just a waste of money really. Uh, because if they do not sell on for 300 coins, I'm just going to discard them anyway. So I know that they didn't sell on. Um, so very, very easier guys to just go ahead and pretty much list all the cards and hoping for the best. Anyway, 
let's have a look at the next pack and it's gonna be Herman which isn't too great you know um yeah that is a 45k pack guys and we get freaking Herman so I'm not gonna sit here and be happy about that we're just gonna be listing up everything and I believe when uh, yeah now we're gonna move over to the uh, main account here we have 1.4 million coins right now most of the cards have sold on and we still have a few SBCs that I've sent on on other accounts and stuff so we have some more coins I would say we're pretty much almost at 2 million not yet maybe like 1.8 million something like that so uh, yeah hopefully we can you know get even further with these packs of course this is the new one the North American one and uh, yeah I'm doing this very cheap as well that's one right there by the way you need uh, loyalty on every single card if you want to copy it so uh, there we go um, that is what you need to do with that one and of course this Colombian one you also need loyalty on like five cards if you want to copy the exact cards right there you can also pick up a few uh, Colombian cards from like the same team and same nation uh, from center back right mid to right wing but those are around the price fixed at like 10k so instead of you know paying 30,000 coins for those three cards I was just going to be playing or quitting 10 games to get loyalty and do that way uh, way easier for me I'm not gonna spend that much coins on those even though we have almost 1.4 million on the main account now that we're gonna be buying Neymar with anyway we're gonna be getting a very nice kit and of course a 50k pack I believe that is so uh, yeah let's hope for the best and this is gonna be the last SBC on this one we're gonna be continuing on the last account I think in the next episode or uh, I think I might have just ended up transferring the coins over I'm not too sure though but I am really this is gonna be the last ones for this video and as you guys can see we get the Fernandez there in the first one Mario Fernandez so not very great and the other ones are gonna be terrible actually one of the uh, you're going cards but they are used in the SPC so that's a bit funny anyway rare gold pack come on give me something good right now all the cards are gonna be rare and we get Hamshik, which I'm not gonna complain about. 85 rated card is gonna be selling for 15k. We have gotten like four cards in this episode that have sold on for like 15k each, but we haven't gotten like one card worth over 20,000 coins. It's really weird, but uh, you know, there's gonna be more episodes. Maybe this is a good thing because, in my opinion, we of course did SPCs to Ronaldo in four episodes. Maybe it's gonna be a bit more difficult this time, and it's gonna take a few more episodes. We'll have to wait and see though, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be still done within the week. With these SPCs, I'm going to be grinding them out tomorrow as well. And uh, maybe I can do a stream today. If you guys want to see an early stream, maybe in like 1 to 2 hours actually. Like at 3 p.m. or something. Let's go for 2,500 likes in... Um Let's say one hour. Yeah, 1,005, no, 2,500 likes the first hour this video is going up. And I'll do a stream at around 2 or 3 p.m. today. Where we can just grind out SPCs and just have loads of fun and hopefully get some freaking insane rewards. Last pack though for this video, we're going to be getting Begovic. That is a bad 50k pack. We're going to end it there though. Thank you guys so much for watching the second episode of our Neymar series. Hopefully we can get closer in the next one. So make sure you guys leave a like if you're excited. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. It's time to list about the cards though but uh yeah i'll see you guys next time hopefully we get closer and uh yeah maybe we can get some better packs than we did in this episode anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon